Whether it's up in the sky during a thunderstorm or helping send a DeLorean back to the future, lightning is a beautiful, dangerous phenomenon. Most people picture lightning as a brilliant white strike that flashes between a cloud and the ground. But there's also lightning within clouds and between clouds. Plus, there's colored lightning and even glowing ball lightning. It's all about a buildup of electric charge and the release of that energy in a bright flash. To have a lightning strike, you first need to separate positive and negative charges within a cloud. Clouds are essentially a bunch of really small, dust-borne ice crystals and water molecules. During a storm, the air is moving around and making these particles collide. So one theory is that some negatively charged electrons from the upward-moving water molecules get transferred to the downward-moving, heavier particles. This makes the bottom of the storm cloud more negatively charged, and the top of the storm cloud more positively charged. And remember, like charges repel each other. So the electrons near the Earth's surface are repelled away, and the ground underneath the cloud is left with an overall positive charge. All this charge separation creates a strong electric field between the ground and the cloud. Basically, an electric field describes how much force and in what direction a positive charge would go if it were in the field, in this case, upward toward the cloud. And when the difference in charges builds up enough, the first stage of lightning begins. Most of the time, we see negative lightning. This is when the electric field grows strong enough that an invisible channel of negative charges, called a stepped leader, begins to branch toward the ground at about 50 meters per microsecond. Meanwhile, an upward-moving channel of positive charges, called a streamer, rises up. They meet with a huge, bright flash that travels up. Not to mention the heat, over 25,000 degrees Celsius, which is about five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Because the negatively charged electrons stream from the cloud down to the ground, it's called negative lightning. There's also the much less common positive lightning, with a net transfer of positive charge from the cloud to the ground instead. These strikes start at the top of a cloud where positive charges hang out, so they need to travel through much more air to reach the ground. So they need even more charge separation, which means the strikes can be up to 10 times stronger than negative lightning. In fact, these strikes can even break apart part molecules in the atmosphere into ions, which can collide with other molecules like hydrogen and oxygen, and cause photons of red light to be released. If this happens, we call them red sprites. Electric potential by calculus method. First of all, I think all of you know regarding electric potential. Just write the definition again. Now it's working. Electric potential. You know the definition. What do you say? Electric potential at any point. Inside the electric field is defined as the work done by the extra agent in bringing the unit test charge. from infinity to the point under consideration from infinity or outside the electric field from infinity to the point under consideration without acceleration ok this definition is known to all of you. Is potential at any point can be written as work done by the external agent in moving the unit charge from infinity to that point. I hope this thing is clear to all of you. Now, all of you recall the work energy theorem. What do you say? work done by the external agent plus work done by the electric field should be equal to change in kinetic energy delta k 
एंड यू से यू आर ब्रिंगिंग द चार्जेस वेरी स्लो चार्जेज इज ब्रॉट स्लोली सो डेल्टा के इक्वल टू जीरो इट मीन्स यू कैन से वर्क डन बाई द एक्सटर्नल एजेंट इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव ऑफ द वर्क डन बाय द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इट क्लियर वाई नेगेटिव इज कमिंग ओके नेगेटिव ऑफ फोर्स बाय द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डॉट डी आर फ्रॉम इंफिनिटी टू पॉइंट अंडर कंसिडरेशन इज इट क्लियर ना ऑल ऑफ यू नो एफ इक्वल टू क्यू एंड व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग फॉर द यूनिट चार्ज इट शुड बी एफ इक्वल टू ओनली ई बिकॉज की क्यू इक्वल टू वन so finally what you say potential at point p is a work done in bringing the charge from infinity to that point it is given by minus infinity to p e dot dr i have discussed all of it so you just read the next slide you can copy also so potential difference calculation by electric field again let in the electric field we have two point a and b and we shift a charge q from point a to point b as we have discussed that uh, work done does not depend on the path say in the path this charge q is located at a point and it is experiencing the electric force f equal to q e and it is displaced along the path by a distance dx suppose then work done by electric field work done by electric field in displacing the charge in displacing the charge Through a distance dx, what you will see? F dot dx. You can put vector. And if you have to write external work done, because for the potential or potential difference, we see external work done. You will see d w external. I hope it is now clear to you. It should be opposite of this. You will say minus f dot dx. You will say minus q e dot dx. And work done per unit charge. External work done per unit charge will be minus e dot dx. This is basically work done in moving from A to B. So you can say. V B minus V A can be written as negative of the work done for the unit charge from A to B. I have discussed to all of you how will you write V B minus V A? If you are moving from infinite, suppose you are moving from infinite, then A is the infinite point, and potential of the infinite is zero. What is the infinite minus infinite to the point? Suppose you say this is a B point, E dot dx. So potential at any point can be written with respect to infinite minus infinity to that point, E dot dr. Again, I am telling you why negative sign is coming. Negative sign is coming because we are calculating the external work done. So all of you just go through the next slide. Pause the video and again copy it. And please remember this formula always: V A B equal to V B minus V A equal to this is minus sign basically. Negative of the integration A to B E dot T. 
Now, what is the meaning of the negative sign here? It gives that in the direction of the electric field, always potential decreases. Okay. Now, again, I am discussing those concepts which I have discussed earlier. Of course, all of you agree with this formula now. When you are moving from A to B, you can say VB minus VA can be written as minus A to B E to T S. So, I hope need not to explain to all of you. Just read each and every slide because we have discussed earlier also all the concept. Now, if delta V is known to you, what you will say regarding delta U? Okay, I say we people know very well potential at any point is the interaction energy per unit charge. So, delta U can be written as Q into delta V. I hope it is clear. Like this. Now, I will discuss to you how will you calculate the electric field due to a point charge with the calculus purpose? What you will say? Suppose I say this is a point charge Q and at a distance P, which is at a distance R, there is a point P where I have to calculate the potential. Okay. I hope all of you know potential at any point P can be written as negative of the E dot dr from infinity to that point. Let me write again E dot dr infinity to r. What is E due to point charge kq by r square? You put here and please solve yourself. You will get the result. V equal to kq by r. Let me show the next slide. Is it okay? You have to think exactly same in 3D because later on we have to plot the graph also. So you have to visualize your mind. Positive charge r tends to 0, potential tends to infinite. Negative charge again potential tends to infinite but in negative side. This we have discussed earlier also. Again, same formula I am discussing same question is there you please pause the video and try to solve it then you run the video after solving it I hope need not to explain now you can calculate similarly one more question is there you have to calculate the electric field that is a vector quantity, electric potential that is not a vector quantity that is a scalar quantity. Now you solve it. Right. Sometimes we have to use the electron volt as the unit I told you and we have discussed one electron volt is called to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 volts. Now I am writing, giving you one question here. Please solve yourself. I hope it is clear. Now, relation in electric field and electric potential. 